Hey people, if you're new here, I'm NJ, and today I want us to talk about police brutality and excessive military force. This is a troubling global trend that you'd think this government in particular would want to avoid at all costs, considering our country's history. Unfortunately, what we have instead are government officials jumping on the Black Lives Matter bandwagon while police and military personnel run wild, trampling the rights of citizens and disregarding the Constitution all with the apparent blessing of the courts, including, I'm sad to say, the Constitutional Court. So, Mr. President, I'm looking at you. Care to explain what the hell is going on? Mr. President, I'm addressing you as a citizen of this country, on behalf of the citizens of this country. I'm addressing you even though you continue to ignore us, opting instead to turn many of us into criminals. I'm addressing you because even though I supported you when the lockdown was called, I no longer feel your leadership is in the best interest of me and my fellow South Africans. Since the lockdown began, I have witnessed with disgust ongoing and escalating brutality carried out by your police and military forces. Mr. President, the people of this country are not your enemy and we are not at war. Your forces are meeting out the same kind of aggression that apartheid-era police inflicted on the freedom fighters of old, and I would have thought that this government would have learned from past experience, and would strive to treat their citizens better than the NAT government did. Are unarmed South Africans so scary that being manhandled for such heinous offences as surfing or dog walking or peacefully standing in front of their cafes is somehow seen as the right and best course of action? On this last one, does demonstrating peacefully by putting tables and chairs on streets and pavements to show the dire impact this lockdown has had on the vital industry in South Africa really warrant being accosted with riot gear? What is wrong with this picture? When did this become an acceptable response to peaceful protests by tax paying citizens of this country, many of whom are on the verge of bankruptcy through no fault of their own? I have to ask, Mr. President, are you and your ministers? really making South Africa better with your leadership? Is this really the new dawn you promised us? You asked us to buy into your Tumamina initiative. You asked us to say, send me, and then you send the police and the army to beat us down. If anyone speaks out against your government, they're ra uh, labelled racists or troublemakers, depending on their skin colour. Well, let me assure you that race has nothing to do with your failing us. Your government has proven to be an equal opportunity disappointer. Your ministers have sought only to line their pockets at the expense of us citizens, and we have nothing more to give. Our taxes are squandered or stolen. Our bank accounts are bare, thanks in large part to an unprecedented level of unemployment brought on us by this government's poorly thought out approach to the pandemic. All the while, your police and defence forces seek to oppress the people of this country on your behalf for the most asinine of reasons while you appear on television and address us in a tone that implies we are responsible for the looting of the crisis response funds. No, 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 Mr. President, we kept our side of the bargain. We didn't steal money, and we have, mostly, regardless of what your ministers claim, accepted and complied with the lockdown regulations. You, on the other hand, promised us that the bailout funds would not be at risk of pillaging, and look how well that turned out. In fact, you and your ministers have misled us so many times in the past four months alone. Is it really any surprise that every word out of your mouth is met with scepticism? As for your Black Friday campaign, what a joke. How can you and your ruling party, where an ANC member heads up the police, where an ANC member heads up the army, come out in opposition to police and military heavy-handedness, where everything they do is done in your name? Seriously. No member of your government has the right to stand up and say that they support the Black Lives Matter movement when your security forces hand out the same kind of brutal atrocities against ordinary South Africans as the United States police bring, brings against its own people of colour. What worries me as a liberal gay white man who fully supports the Black Lives Matter movement is that more often than not, it is black SAPS and SANDF personnel who are assaulting black South Africans. Not once during the entire lockdown have I seen a military patrol in my suburban, actually no, let's call it what it is, my historically white neighbourhood, 
In fact, the first time I saw any police or military action outside of the townships or predominantly black areas like Yeovil was when your officers attacked peaceful protesters with stun grenades and water cannons on the streets of Cape Town. But I digress. Police officers are called to serve and protect, not brutalize and kill. Politicians who have been elected by the people are called to serve the people, not serve themselves. Surely, weeding out the corrupt and the incompetent should be a higher priority than hunting down drinkers, smokers, and people who are desperately trying to, well, simply provide for their family. Mr. President, I'm tired. I know I speak for many when I say that we are growing weary of this wasteland that you and your government are turning our beautiful country into. I once stood proud of South Africa, despite its many problems, vehemently calling out the naysayers. But now I find myself broken by a sense of hopelessness at how grim the future of the hard-working people of this country has become. While racial inequality is still very much a concern in South Africa, it seems like your government's approach to leveling the playing field is not to uplift the disadvantaged and destitute, but to bring us all to our knees. If this was your intention, well done, sir. Well done. But that's just my take on the matter. Use it, don't use it. Either way, we'll chat soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. While you're at it, hit the bell to be notified when we put out new content. Until next time, cheers.